Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 58 of my let's play of Amayui Castle Meister. Today we got somebody at the gate. Oh god, not another slow talking old woman. No, no it's not another one, it's the same one. So she gave us these requests from the Tran Tranquilo Hills Villages. So she's here to present us with another reward. Navarro says he doesn't really need it since we've A already been paid. <clears throat> and well, in addition to the payment, we get the mega power out of it. <laughs> But they say that we're always taking care of them. And it's true we had the earlier missions. And then we had this thing with Gaidal. So I guess that's a bonus. Well, it turns out they have this map for us. It's a pretty old one. It's a map to some kind of bath. These villagers can't use it because monsters come out, I guess. Okay, sounds great. So we confirm where it points to and we've got a new map we can go to. So it opens up this map of sorts. Well, nothing to do but take a look. So among the geysers of harsh truth, well, first, the geysers of harsh truth are in the west of Tranquilo Hills. And in this area, there's a lot of lime that got dissolved and pushed to the surface, resulting in these white cliffs. There are also hot springs. And if there are hot springs, there's probably one that will be of a good temperature. I've always spending his time trying to find a good one. The girls aren't accompanying him, for obvious reasons. But most of these Hot springs are a bit too cold. For Avaro, anyway. If you were to say so, most of these are tuned to the preferences of elves. Yeah. Well, not tuned so much as just happening to be that way. But he's not an elf. He's only a half elf. So he's actually a bit hardier and likes it hot. So he's taking a look. Or we could stay behind. So we get to join Avaro on his mission to find the perfect hot spring. It's pretty simple. If you run out of time or you run out of Avaro life, you lose. That would be bad. Oh, that must have been a critical hit. Unfair. Oh, of our here, somebody he recognizes. <laughs> so, they like the temperature where they're apparently got to. And it's big enough for everybody to come in. So, despite of our here coming here without them, they end up in the same vicinity anyway. So, it's not very deep. Come on, Eo. This is training. She doesn't need it. If she washes herself with, with herself with cloths, that's fine. Did you notice when Mikayu spoke this last line, 
Her snowman just appeared on her shoulder. For that matter, how often does that happen? Ah, uh, anyway, don't be stupid. Get undressed. So, according to Eo, she is going to be turned into boiled vegetables. So, Rosaline is going to forbear the experience as well. She's not comfortable with showing her skin to people. But if she's told to come in, then she's okay putting her feet in. And now we came here after all this trouble. You gotta enjoy it. Come on, get undressed. <clears throat> ah. Ah. Ha. Well, apparently there's a conspiracy on to get everybody naked. Alright, now, 25 turns, or Avaro dies, or Kisnir comes next to Avaro. This reminds me of a scene from Arterial War Engines. Heh, that was a bit more sketchy though. Stupid geyser. I got a stupid critical hit on me. If I take another critical hit, I die. Darkness beast bones. Now, Kisner's AI in this particular map is specifically trained to come after Avaro if he is within a certain number of spaces. Even if she can't get to him in that number of squares. I'll show you. Now, she can't get to me. She can only get that far because of control problems, but she's going to head this way anyway, even though otherwise she wouldn't. I'll show you. See? Now if I take the time and hang back... Now if I'm far enough away, she just continues onward. Talk about unfair. Oh, this. So she just has to control everything. I could go for that card, I suppose. But I don't feel any particular strong need to. And I'm likely to get cornered back there if I try it. Now these three squares are safe for a while, but these two could get you attacked by the geyser. Well, these three are safe from Kisnir, but only this one is safe from the geyser as well. Keep moving, Kisnir. There we go. So, this place looks good. Let's try it out. Quick and easy, as long as you know what you're doing. So, the temperature of this bath is perfect for our... So he relaxes there. It's nice scenery. But in addition to that scenery, his bath happens to be above the girl's bath and he gets free seats. Ah, this is a nice view. Hey. So, obviously, just an excuse to show everybody naked. In case you can't tell which one is Fia, she's the one with the funny diamond-shaped headdress, as always. Is that supposed to be her theme? 
Sophia likes it. Kisner likes it too. She hasn't been in a hot spring in a while. So it's rare for Kisner to really relax like this in front of people, so Fia's enjoying that. Feels good in a bath anyway. Heh. <laughs> but don't say nice things about Kisner too much. She'll start heating up and that'll just make her have to leave the bath sooner. The two of them get along. So they naturally have this air about them. That they get along and stuff. Rosaline could really tell from when she first met them. But she's a bit jealous that they're able to get along like that. Well, in that case, Risho and Sally would be happy to get along well with you. You should do that in a hot spring after all. Really, Rosaline and Risho? Rosaline's thinking that they aren't going to have a good relationship. She gets the feeling she won't be able to make that thing happen. Alright. Mikhail's trying to get Eol into the bath. Again. How many times has she tried this? She won't enter the water. It's her natural enemy. It's a bath, so it's alright. Probably. So, the difference between a bath and water is only the temperature. So, Mikhail's argument isn't making any sense. So now we start splashing. Ah, it's flying at her. Save her, goddess. Well, you knew it had to happen. Alright, Fia says, Alright, it can't be helped in this case. In order to put Eel at ease, we have Kisner's boobs. If you've got a chest like this to clutch onto, even in a bath, or in the bottom of an ocean, or in a bottomless bog, you again won't be scared. What the hell is that logic? Good call, Kisner. That isn't logic at all. And then she says, well, if she can be of use like that, she'd be happy to lend her chest to it. Bleh. <laughs> and now Reisha says that they should use her instead. So, she shows herself off. Well, pretty big. Well, Rosalina observes that the two of them are actually about the same size. That is the staring sound effect coming from Mikeo. Mikeo doesn't have a chest. 
れでもママあるんだからへえ<笑> She's jealous 寄せてあげてチッパイの背比べ Well, no matter what you say about whether she has it or not, she's pretty flat. No, 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 no. Kanyu, yo, Kanyu, yo, Kanyu, san! Watashi no opai mo waki ku narimasu yo ni! This is a kind of prayer for her boobs to get bigger. Ketsuron, opai ni wa narenai. Tsumari iyo wa hairenai. So, the argument's over. She can't ride on Mikio's boobs, so she isn't going to come in the bath. Mwah! Well, you're the one who decided to ride along with Fia's little logic train. So, that was a map. Anything new? Let's do one more. This one's pretty short, actually. So another scene of the bath in the castle. Yeah! The bath in the castle and... Whose voice is this? Who is that? Hmm. Well, I'm sure we'll find out eventually. So, is it how far I was just imagining that? The old running by completely naked. So, Mickey is giving chase, and Avaro's a bit in the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay, look over there, look away, or no, actually listen to what I have to say. Which one is it? Uh, so, anyway, go ahead and chase Eel down. Mikio tried to get her to take a bath again, and she ran away. Yeah, can't be helped. Fine. We'll search her out. Now, of course, it's already too late. You'd have trouble finding her if she was right in front of you, if she didn't want to be found. So Avaro gets to thinking. Eel seems to be bad with baths and water in general. So maybe there's something we can do in order to get Eel... Let me rephrase that. Perhaps there's some kind of bath that he can think of that Eel won't be afraid of. And we get a new plan. Let's see. It's in here somewhere. There it is. <clears throat> this is a steam bath or a sauna in regular terms. Mm. Did I make the things I could make last time? Looks like I did. I didn't do the training I could do last time though. Hey. Males. Whatever. Goblinoids. Same as. Demi humans. Great. Earth types. Well, whatever. Oh man. More min. One star mins. Actually, these are pretty useful abilities on her. Which one did we get? This one. The Monster Killer. This is good on common beasts and goblinoids and giants and magical beasts. And it adds plus 10 to her attack, so it's really useful in a lot of situations. In a few days, I hope I'll get the chance to show it to you. 
So, for the moment, I'll call it a day. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.